What is up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, after two days of throwing Cody's clutch in, we are finally back. And it is, as you can see outside, kind of, it is a good day. <laughs> we got a lot planned for today. We are going to tear apart the convertible comments. I know you guys have probably been wanting to see that truck again. Uh, but we are going to rip it completely apart, tear it right down to the frame. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll get all of it in this video or not, but we'll, we'll see how it turns out. It might be a whole two day thing, but hopefully, hopefully we can get it done pretty quickly. So right now we are going to go head up to my parents' house to see what Cody's doing because I haven't heard from him all day. I don't know if you guys can tell from the first video that I put up, bed liner is still looking perfect. And I'm missing my sunglasses today, and I don't know where they are. They might be up in the garage, but if they're not, I'm not going to be very happy. So I lo obviously love this truck, but for some reason, but once in a while, not every time, it goes dead. I don't know why. I, there must be some something that's pulling power constantly that I don't know about. I don't leave the key on. I don't do anything, you know. I don't leave the lights on for an extended period of time just because I know it will drain the battery. But just for... Once in a great while, it'll die out of nowhere. Won't start. So I'm not really sure what's pulling power. I couldn't even, there's so much shit on the truck, I couldn't even tell you. But good news is I have the old trusty Dakota here and I know for a fact that thing will start right up. What's up? So Cody might not end up going with me today because he's he's right there. He's stuck up here because I don't know if you guys seen the end of the last video, but he has uh, an ILD uh, bad. What was it? I short somewhere in the ILD circuit that's making me lose my power locks on the, the doors and the key fob, power seats, uh, power mirrors, dome lights. And radio but we can't figure or he can't figure that out but I just came up here to check on what he's doing he's got all the uh, the gauges out he's got the entire wiring harness ripped apart here he's checking he's been checking fuses for the past 24 hours he still can't figure it out so I'm pretty sure you guys haven't seen this truck yet this is my cute little work truck here cables right back in here hopefully these work actually you know what Cables. I know where a better set is. I, right here are the good ones. So these are the ones I actually keep in my black truck. comes to rescue and that's why I keep it no matter how shitty of a truck it is all right so the trucks finally started we're uh, we're getting ready to uh, head out on our way right now all right so we just got to Matt and Andrews uh, Andrews in there working on the uh, the red Cummins right now we're gonna go and see what he's up to Matt is on his way and we're gonna start ripping apart this truck and getting it getting they're all tore down the entire truck except for the engine is going in that dumpster so she's coming right down to the bare frame I, I think even the frames going in there but here she is good times oh yeah boys we really we really did a number on her Andrew had to go grab something from the other shop real quick but he's been He's been ripping out. He ripped out the uh, steering column. All the uh, the cab mounts are dropped, so the cab's ready to be pulled off. Front fenders are obviously off. Hood's off. That's probably the best it's going to look. So Andrew went and got the forklift. This is <laughs> this is what we're going to end up throwing the uh, or taking the cab off with. What you got there, bud? This is what we're going to be ripping the cab off with today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did that for the camera. Oh. 
Yeah, you got a bunch of hoses hanging off right here. They're all vacuum lines and shit. <laughs> Watch out, Dad. Oh, I live for this shit. <laughs> live for it. All right, here comes the fun part. <laughs> what she looks like. Try and put that, this fork right here, like right in this rust hole, or right in here. <laughs> that wasn't even close. <laughs> there you go. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh! You might come now. Get right up underneath this corner right here and pick it up. I think you got those two. There's six, right? I think there's six bed bolts. But I think you got those two. Get right here. One of the employees over there uh, just see me doing that. This is their fork. <laughs> Side. I don't know. This bed's now for good. Things are about looking like hardware screws under here. <laughs> Look what they got in there. I think that's like a lag hold or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking sick. The quarter panel right off. Just right, about. Well, uh, that's how you pull a bed <laughs> on a Dodge Ram. I forgot they pulled some parts off of it. I got excited. What's up? me in the fucking back. What is it? It's a piece of fucking cord oh. from a tire. <laughs>
So Andrew's gonna take the his loader and we're gonna squash the cab and the bed back into the dumpster so it fits because it's kind of poking out right now. But after after we get done doing that, uh, we're gonna rip apart the engine and transmission, get all that taken out. We're gonna take the the plan is Andrew's gonna take the axles off this frame and then just scrap the frame. But he actually might leave the axles and wheels all together and then uh, sell it as a roller. So he's, he's not quite sure yet. So we're gonna rip off this wheel tire real quick uh, just because we're gonna put an actual tire that's not shredded on real quick. So it's a little bit easier to work on. But once we get that taken care of and once that's off, then we are going to start ripping it apart. I hate when I if, he's, if he's lucky, he'll get it out of there. Not going to do it. No, nah, that didn't work the best. I figured that's what was going to happen, but at least we got the bed in the dumpster, right? Yeah, the bed went in. God just didn't want to go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There she is, boys. Tire truck's in the dumpster. That's, that's done over with. That's her final resting place. Almost. Out of our hands, at least. So Matt finally decided to show up after a couple hours of us doing this shit. But uh, I guess plans kind of changed. We're not pulling the engine today. Andrew wants to take care of the wiring harness tomorrow, I guess. So there's Matt. There he is. He finally decided to show up. He's still camera shy. So I'll probably end up coming back tomorrow. We're going to do a couple things. Andrew has to street sweep all the rubber off here. So... But most likely we're gonna to cut today a little bit short. We'll we'll uh we'll go back and see what Cody's up to. Alright boys, we're back home. Uh started down pouring rain, but uh tomorrow we're going back out there. Uh me and Cody are gonna end up going out there. Uh we will be pulling the engine tomorrow. Hopefully we can get that car that got the guy selling it kind of bail on us tonight, but uh We'll see how that goes. But for now, I will see you guys on the next one. See ya.